September 5th, 2000. Whittier, California, 3 a.m. L.A. County deputies Michael Scott and David Timberlake pull over a van with a broken headlight. Suddenly, one of the passengers opens fire with an AK-47. He pops out with a fully automatic assault rifle and opens up with 21 rounds against the deputies. Deputy Timberlake is lucky to be alive. But his partner, Michael Scott, took a bullet to the head. I was yelling, don't die, stay with me. Hey, talk to me, do something. I know that you're still here. Postel is conducting a routine patrol in Murphy, North Carolina. As he pulls into the parking lot of a shopping center, he spots a suspicious figure. County, I need backup. Postel calls for backup. Put your hands up. Let me see your hands. You got him? The FBI's most wanted list made Eric Rudolph well known in these parts. And Postel's fellow officer thinks this could be him. July 2002, Lopez Orozco was driving Rebecca and her two sons back to her house in Mountain Home, Idaho, when he made an unexpected detour. The FBI believes he shot Rebecca and her two children. He then torched the car. I can't fathom the idea how somebody could be so cold-hearted and, and kill a two and a four-year-old. 22-year-old petty criminal Glenn Godwin wants a fast route to the good life. When he's not partying, he hustles prospective clients to invest in money-making schemes. But so far, he's failed to land a big score. His impatience to strike it rich turns into an obsession. August 18th. Godwin and his roommate invite a local drug dealer back to their condo. You know what? I'm good, actually. I'm just... Ah. But the meeting doesn't go as planned. Whoa. Godwin just sort of went crazy. <gasps> And uh, basically, in a rage, he, he stabbed him with a butcher knife. Godwin realized it isn't that easy to kill someone. Godwin stabs the man 28 times before he stops his crazed attack. He and his roommate then drive to the desert to destroy the evidence. But investigators identify the victim. 